Welcome everyone here to the Smash Board Show right here on Smash FM here on a lockdown Tuesday here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's go up to our friends uh, up on in Queensland in particular, and we're heading to uh, uh, my part of the world up there on the Sunshine Coast, and of course, uh, speak with the the USC uh, Thunder, of course, Sapphire, of course, netball team, and of course, we've got uh, two very special guests to us right now, because uh, they're both captains of the Sapphire and the Ruby team there at the Thunder. It joins us right now. Thanks, Brief, for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. No worries. Well, I'll get both of you to introduce yourselves and tell us what position both of you play on the court. So my name's Chloe. I'm captain of the Sapphire team, um, and I can kind of play anywhere across the midcourt in those three positions. Um, Sarah, I'm captain of the Rubies, and I play wing attack centre. We're now at what, the halfway stage of the season now, or very close to the halfway stage of the season. Um, how is both teams travelling at the moment? Because I know that uh, looking at the ladder, I guess the results haven't gone uh, one team's way at the moment, but uh, how's the season gone for both the Sapphire and the Ruby team? Um, so for our Sapphire team, we obviously started off pretty strong um, and then we had probably three matches in a row where they were pretty tough um, and tightly contested. Um, but we're sitting in top four, which is kind of where we set as long as we're there in the middle of the season. That's what we want to do. And we're just kind of hoping to build um, on what we've already started putting out on court and hopefully just get a little bit more consistency. We've kind of been plagued by um, injuries and obviously people going up and down from the lightning, which is super exciting. Um, but just trying to get those combinations and train a little bit more will be great towards the back end of the season. So when we play those um, those teams that we lost to again, it'll be good to have like a full strength squad back out there and leading into finals. Our Ruby, so start of the season hasn't gone the way we hoped. Um, at the moment, we're just learning from each game and taking it on board and training hard. Hopefully the back end of the season will be better for us girls and get the wins. Uh, this week, you are playing QUT um, at Nissan Arena this weekend. How's the preparations like against QUT and how did you go the first time around against them? Um, yeah, so we, when we played them in Sapphire, um, first time around we lost and it was probably just like a 10 minute lapse um, that we kind of like let go. We were pretty neck and neck for everything, but there was like a 10 minute um, period of like our third quarter. Um, and it's something that we identified pretty much immediately after the game. And something that, as we go into match review tonight, um, we'll definitely address and have a look at how we can make sure that momentum um, continues with us and we don't let those drops happen. And then I think it's just intensity at training again. So um, knowing we're at the halfway point and we want to start putting out um, some better performances. So just stepping up the intensity at training and really working on those things. So against the UT for Rubies, we had a win. Uh, there was definitely like ups and downs in the game and there was parts where we had like really good flow. Um, so we know how they play now and this week we're just going to train hard and go out starting strong in the first quarter. Second half of the season, which starts this weekend, um, what's the focus for both teams now? Um, obviously we both teams still got a chance of making the finals uh, come six weeks time or seven weeks time? I think for Sapphire, our biggest focus is just still obviously maintaining that top four position, but we'd love to push into, you know, that third, second kind of position too. I think we um, know that we're really capable of the teams that we lost in that first round. We know that it was kind of a, a trend of ours to drop off for like 10 minutes or have a five minute lapse across two quarters. Um, so I think identifying that earlier in the game so that we shut it down and then getting wins against those teams um, and playing consistent four quarters is definitely our biggest thing. I think it's just as well, yeah, just knowing that if we put that out at those four quarters that we're all happy with, we know the results will come. Um, so it's just really focusing on doing that and then focusing on changing momentum in the game if we need to. Yeah. Um, for us, Ruby girls, we're kind of the same. We're taking like each quarter as it comes and... Um, just been resilient about the back from like we've had a fair few losses and even though we'll be pretty down about it, um, it's just upwards from here and hopefully everything goes to plan and all of our hard work is shown at the back end of the season. For both you being captains of the Sapphire and the Ruby team there at the Thunder, um, what does that mean to both of you? Um, I guess 
I think for both of us, like we grew up as um, oh, like Sunshine Coast representatives, um, like we're both from Wooka, um, which is a part of like the Sunshine Coast region. So it's pretty huge for us to be able to represent that region. And I think something that Thunder does really differently to every association where it feels like it has such a community vibe, like we stretch from so far north um, down here. And so to just represent and show girls that are in the region that there's a really good pathway and, you know, being able to link in so well with the lightning, um, it's really, really important to us. And I think it, it just makes it feel really special. Yep. Always pretty much said it all. <laughs> so my question is to both of you, considering, um, you know, the sun is the feeder pathway for the Sunshine Coast Lightning and the Suncourt Super Netball. I guess, what does that mean to both of you? Is that something you both you're hoping to get to eventually? Yes, definitely. Like coming to Thunder, as Chloe said, like the environment the community is really good. And uh, we're hoping, I'm hoping as well, like I think all the girls here are hoping to have that pathway and um, just pursue the career in netball for the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we're super lucky. Um, like over the past few years, we've had lots of opportunities to train with Lightning. Um, last year when we were in the like, like the bubble for SSN and stuff like that, they'd have match play. And, um, you know, some of us were lucky enough to get invited and do a lot of match play with other SSN teams too. So um, that pathway is obviously huge and a big reason that we love being here. Uh, but yeah, definitely involved for everyone. I think. Uh, how did both of you get involved in netball and why did both of you choose it? No, one of my family played netball, so I'm kind of like the first. I don't know, I think like all of my friends and just, I just love coming and knowing that, um, like there's like my other, it's just an outside thing that I had and I just loved, um, just the game and just how hard, like the work ethic of trainings and yeah, it was just really good. <laughs> Um, I think I just got involved as a family. My mum played, like, and her um, eight sisters all played when they were younger, so it was kind of just, like, the thing to get into. And then, same as Sarah, like, you just make friends from it, um, and then you start playing and, like, making more teams, and, you know, you just really enjoy it. And I think it has so many benefits, like, outside of the sport too, like, skills that you learn um, that you realise are super important. Um, and, yeah. Do either of you have any highlights throughout both your netball journeys so far? I've made a couple of the Queensland teams and squads, and last year I made the under 17s old squad. So that was probably my biggest one. Um, I think it was probably winning nationals. Like in bottom age 19s, um, we won nationals, which is like pretty big, um, especially in Queensland. Like Victoria and New South Wales are normally like pretty dominant across that. So. Um, and we had like a fair bit of pressure going on, like on us going into the carnival, up with, into the tournament, like most um, states kind of all we would. So it was pretty awesome to actually come away with the win and like deal with that pressure and, um, you know, do it pretty convincingly too. Now, what does the sport of netball mean to both of you, especially being there at the USC Thunder? I think to me, it just means like being a part of a family. I think like um, netball communities, and I, I don't know, like the friends that you make in netball, um, particularly as you get higher up, I think you realise how similar they are to you and they offer you like a different outlet. And I guess being at the Thunder in particular, um, you're around everyone so often that they do kind of become like the sisters for like nine months of the year because you're always together. Um, but yeah, it's just like a family environment that you love turning up to and, you know, just a really good competitive outlet too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, the culture's really good here as well. And um, I guess having... Like a nice facility too, like we train at the USC Stadium yard, we do gym in the high performance gym. Like just knowing that we've got like people backing us up to help us with our journey, it's just, it's, you just love it. Now, both of you mentioned before about your local clubs um, that both of you uh, came from to get to part of the Thunder. You might as well give them a bit of shout out. And do you still go back to your local junior club? Yeah, sometimes I do um, go back and watch my um, club play. It's really nice. Like, I love when people come up to me and, like, say, do you remember me? It's like, yes, of course I do. It's, it's just really nice. Yeah, same. I'm trying to, like, get down to 
clubs is like a big part of what we're doing and it's always really nice to go back to Kabulja um, and, you know, see like the old club you played for, but just like coaches and even like people who are still um, there and coaching and stuff like that and just catching up with them. And um, it's kind of like nostalgic, I guess, because you spent so much of the time there when you were like younger and going back there. It's kind of a nice feeling. It sort of reminds you like why you got into it in the first place. Uh, what would be your advice to people out there, especially on the Sunshine Coast? Um, that should get involved in netball because soon uh, you've got one of the best uh, Suncourt Super Netball teams up there and obviously as well as the Sapphire Ruby Series teams as well. I think it's just like having a go whether you, I don't know, want to play socially or whether you want to be competitive, you've just got to give it a go um, and I think you've just got to keep trying, particularly if you're trying to get into the pathway. Um, there's probably going to be times when you get knocked back or... Um, you know, times where you might be disappointed with things, but I think that builds your character and makes you a better netball. Like, I don't think you'll ever hear of any athlete who just had smooth sailing the whole time they played. Um, so it's about being resilient, knowing that um, there's always a lesson to learn if you get knocked back from something or if something doesn't go your way and trying to find that lesson and build on what you're doing. And as much as you want to, like, you take it seriously, I think also you got to remember to have fun, like, make memories like make the most of the experience you have and the people around you because like it's not going to last forever some days and that's okay you're just going to do what you have fun yeah have fun <laughs> Now, now we'll quickly finish with a couple of uh, light-hearted questions I know that he's got training very soon uh, which is um, who's the comedian the best singer oh. the best dancer and into their TikToks Oh, Chloe Bingham. <laughs> Chloe Bingham. Who's our shooter? Who's just come back from turning a finger? She's definitely the biggest in the TikToks. Um, yeah, she loves it. Shout out to her. She probably would get some followers from it. Um, the funniest in Sapphire, probably Chloe as well. She's just like her and Ash, who is our goalkeeper, just like say some one liners so that you don't even know how it comes into their head, but they always, always make it pretty funny. Yeah. In rubies, I don't know, all of us just get amongst each other. We all just like love cracking jokes here and there. And it's just, yeah, we just all have our one say in it. Who had the most embarrassing moment on the court this season and what was it? I don't know if we've had any embarrassing moments yet. Like, I'm sure there's probably been like a falcon here or there from like someone trying to catch the ball. But I don't know if anything like stands out. Like, there's been no like, Maddie Turner moments where you run from like the goalkeeper zone all the way to transverse line at the other end or anything like that. I don't think there's been anything. Actually, on the game on Saturday, it's, there's, they share courts and there's different lines on the court. I was going off one of the different lines and I wasn't behind the line for a set of pass. So <laughs> that, was probably, that was probably me. Yeah, I was going off. <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing. Lost the ball. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to finish up with this one last one, which is you must well give your player sponsors. If you can remember your player sponsors, you must well give them a bit of a shout out now. Uh, my player sponsor is North Coast Foods. Um, so they supply food pretty much all along the east coast of Queensland, um, like frozen goods and packaged goods and stuff like that. So um, if you have a festival, if you have an event, make sure you hit them up so I get your food. Uh, my player sponsor is my club that I played with for 10 years, Blue Jays, down at the Bulletin Netball Association. Um, great club, great place to start. If you want to start your netball journey, Blue Jays is the way to go. Hit them up. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, both of you, thank you so much for giving up your time to join us before training tonight. Best of luck um, against QUT in particular. Obviously, the second round of uh, playing against uh, your opponents uh, starting this weekend. And uh, let's hope it all goes well for the next six or seven weeks. And let's hope, uh, especially for both your teams, that you can both make the finals uh, in about two months' time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. No worries, because if you want to get involved in a cheer for the mighty uh, USC Thunder, because uh, throughout uh, the Sapphire and Ruby series, of course, we'll put all the details up on their games coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks to uh, tell you uh, how you can support the mighty Thunder in 2021. There's more on the Smashport show right after this. Don't go away here on the 10th year celebration.